on the e Libre ELEC forum, Eugene2878 has taken over the uh, modification of the Open PHT, which is a Plex Home Theater for these Android boxes. So I'm going to be installing that on one of my little uh, sticks that I retired quite a while ago. So anyway, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, this is the MK808B Plus that I will be installing it on. Uh, I'll show you the actual device in a little while. But uh, when I purchased it three or four years ago, five, whatever it was, it was about $30. So it's just a stick. So I'll show you a little bit more. Okay, in order to ins install this uh, new system OS onto my stick, all I have to do is download the tar file from his website, uh, the Libre website, and all I got to do is go in here to this one here, click on it, and then click on update, and install that or copy that tar file into here. So I'll show you what I have to do on that. Okay, now this is where we get the file that we're going to download and copy to the update folder. So this one, the GZ file, well this one's for the 805, that's my stick is running uh, on an S805 MLogic stick. Uh, if we were doing a clean install, we would use the GZ. However, we're going to do an update. So we're going to get the tar file, so we're just going to download it. Show all. And when it gets done downloading, all we'll do is just copy that into the update folder, go to our stick, reboot it, and it will load. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so I just go to my download folder where I downloaded it. I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to go back down to my 808B. Go to update, paste it, and now when it gets all done, then I will go back to the box, reboot it, and then I should be able to load into Plex server, home theater. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So I'll continue when it gets done downloading. Okay, here is the stick. If you can see it, it's kind of dark in here. This is in the bedroom. So that's what it looks like. Uh, this is your power right here. Anyway, using a little power adapter, 2 amp power adapter. Uh, here I'm using the OTG port and using a USB adapter, or excuse me, Ethernet adapter to connect to my Ethernet. So that's where we're at. But I have not used this stick in quite a long time. It was in my drawer, so I dug it out of retirement just for uh, this particular program to see how it works. System information. Okay, if you notice, the last update was May 19, 2016, Cody 16.1. Uh, so that's what we're doing. All right, I'll go back and see. Okay, it's downloaded, so now that here's going to be the true test. Go to reboot it. Now let's see if it uh, reboots, and when it does, it installs that. Uh, Plex Media Theater. So we'll find out. Now, by today's standards, this is probably, like I say, a four or five year old stick. And I think it only had one gig of memory. Oh, it's doing something. So this one is kind of slow, the stick. So as soon as it gets done uh, updating, then I'll turn it back on and see what it looks like. So far, so good. It's updating the kernel. Actually, it didn't take that long. So I'll go ahead and shut it off again because I don't know how long it's going to take. Maybe take another minute or two. So 
I'll just shut it off till it gets done. Okay, now it's updating the system. 80, 90 percent. Actually, it's pretty fast. I'm surprised. I thought it'd be a lot slower than that. So here we go. There's the boot screen. Oh, by the way, I'm running this straight from the internal RAM. I'm not using an SD card, so this is running straight from the stick itself with no uh, SD card attached. So this is running from the me main memory. Whoa, I got something there. Open PHT, open source Plex client. Whoa. There we go. Holy caramba. All right, I'll go ahead and set it up, but uh, the OS in the operating system is working. So I'll go ahead and set it up and see what happens. Boy, that was fast. It didn't take long at all to uh, install. I'm using my right, right, right hand to hold the camera in my left hand. I'm using my, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, the re alphanumeric keypad so anyway it's gonna be a little touchy let's go to channel directory but there's a whole bunch of neat stuff on here but there's probably other videos you can see that uh, TV shows, okay, U Box, U Ghost. Okay. Okay, anyway, that's what I want to show you. It worked. It probably took me maybe a half hour at the most to start from start to finish. So this is on, well, I paid about 30 bucks for that little stick several years ago. So that's what it looks like. Now I can take that stick and put it on any one of my TVs if I so desire. So I can put it on my big TV. But anyway, that's what it's all about. So thank you.